Hello everyone, welcome back to our Windows 10 for our home users and IT professional course. In this video we will install Office 2016 from Office 365 portal um, and also we will configure Outlook. So let's go ahead and start that. The first thing you will do is you will open your internet and I'm using Edge which is the browser. Microsoft Edge and you'll go to your portal.office.com now this is where if you have a work or school account this is where if you're a student and you have Office 365 or you bought Office 365 this is where you will need to put your email address and password and then it will take you to your portal so once you log in it's very simple you'll just click on install now and there you go it started to install if you were using Mac or um, like for example different type of computer if they support that it will give you the installer for that specific device and I'm using Windows um, Microsoft and you right here we're gonna go ahead and click on run and we will click accept yes okay it's getting ready So this could be a good question to ask that how do you how do you know it's a 2016 office so if you click on other install right here this and on the top it also tells you 2016 but here it's also telling you that you're uh, downloading 2016 what if you want 2013 you can scroll down and you will see 2013 is right here so I can also install that but since we clicked on installing 2016 Pro Plus, I am getting that one. And with that, I'm going to get all of this um, all of this stuff right here. So in this video, we will configure our Outlook also. Now, just to clarify, in our last video, we did our Setup Windows 10 Mail. This is Outlook software from Microsoft. It comes with this Office full uh, software installation okay it's not this when you go to start and click on this this is a different this is an app which is pretty cool we did the video on that one also so if you want to see the installation on that one make sure you take this section in our Windows 10 training course all right well that's installing let's talk about some of the other things like uh, what if you come across some type of issues to for issues and let's say you get some type of error make sure you click on this link it will take you to different type of codes so maybe you'll get another code I don't know exactly what you're going to get so you need to click on this and follow the directions if you have any issues another way is to check your space uh, you're not running out of space on your computer another way is to uninstall any old Microsoft Office applications and then try to install this and that usually solves uh, issues like that uh, okay, so we have our Office 2016 ready. Now this could be, um, this section could be for anyone, uh, you home users, IT users. I mean, let's say you get a call and home users saying, can I, how do I get to my applications? So they will click on start and in all apps, you can see recently added are the ones that new ones we just installed everything from Microsoft Office. This is a good opportunity right now to use uh, for you to kind of quickly um, um, move it somewhere. So let's say for example I want to make things easier for myself and, to, uh, and I want to get to my office quickly. So one way is to just kind of like you know scroll down and find each uh, individual application under its letter SCP PowerPoint which is good but you want to separate it let's say so what we can do is to move all of this, let's say for example PowerPoint, um, I'm going to go ahead and use that. Actually, let me... Alright, so I'm going to move the PowerPoint to my desktop. There you go. And this way you can move your Outlook desktop. So basically I open this I don't need to open this again let's accept that all right 
So I'm going to go back now and I'm going to move my Outlook also to my desktop. Now you can of course leave it on desktop, that's another way, but you can make a folder and we're going to call it application. Okay, we're going to call it apps and what you can do, you can hit control, pick all of these three, drop it into this folder There you go. And now what you can do is right click on the taskbar and here you can go to tools, add a new toolbar, go to desktop and click on apps and select folder. So you see now you have the folder right here. You don't even need to put it on the desktop right there. You can actually access all of your applications just like this. So that makes it really easy for you if you want to make it a standard for all the users then you can just tell users hey and they, they will say hey how do I get to my applications for the company applications so you can even make this a standard way of accessing all the applications so people are not running around looking for applications all over the, the PC you know. We also talked about we are going to set up Outlook it's still getting finished now this is not a good way to actually open Outlook before it's finished I just wanted to kind of make the video quicker so you want to make sure that it's or uh, fully done and then open Outlook or Word or anything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and open Outlook welcome to Outlook so here you go um, would you like to set up Outlook click next here you will put your um, name your email address and the password now it should automatically pick it up uh, your Office 365 account and it will add your account so let's do it. right now it's searching for the server once you use the, the email and the password then you'll get a security prompt like that and this is where you will put your email and password again now this could be a call to you also for an IT person that why is it prompting me again and again when I open Outlook they just need to click check box this remember my credentials and then it won't do that so you'll see these three green checks that mean everything is great so let's go ahead and finish it and we should be getting into our Outlook email preparing Outlook for the first use so this is what you will get everything is good it's connecting it's updating this folder you will get your email in about a minute or two I just put the notepad just for privacy reasons so, but you can see everything is working great now what if you have issues with Outlook now, this is a great uh, you know for everyone I would say IT or non IT users Outlook is a, is a software that everyone use in a Microsoft world you know so you definitely will get calls related to Outlook so everything is great installation is finished okay so how do you troubleshoot Outlook? Let's say you're having an issue with Outlook and you did configuration and all that or maybe some user call you that I'm having issue and at this point you know that their emails are on the server meaning their emails are secure. All you're having an issue with is just this client Outlook. Something is not working. Emails are not setting through and it's just in this PC. I need to refresh it. I just want to start everything from scratch again. You don't need to uninstall the whole Outlook or do things with it. You can go to the user go to admin and for this folder to show you need to click on view right here and check this hidden items and then you will see this folder app data then you'll go to local and Microsoft Outlook now you want to copy this put it somewhere maybe you still need it just in case you know and, but I say that in the beginning that you're so sure because you went to portal.office.com and you see their emails are there you know it's just this client this is where you will do this but you can also copy this I'm gonna go ahead and delete this folder there you go now I'm gonna go and start and go back to my applications and actually it's right here and here is Outlook I'm gonna click on that close this Now did you notice something here preparing Outlook for first use 
this usually fix almost all of the issues that are just crazy issues that you know that this outlook is not working correctly and things like that it's not sending email and some crazy things are happening just try this and trust me it will fix almost all the issues but of course if you get some crazy errors and it's corrupted and some other type of problems like you know your application is having an issue then that's Microsoft application o overall you need to work on that but usually this fixes most of the issues but we're going to do another outlook we actually have a lot of outlook videos on our YouTube channels you should you guys should